What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. First up, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification button to keep up the latest videos coming out on my channel. Okay, so let's get into this unboxing review. So there's the package in front of us. Now this is um, from Daft Toys and it is the Bane um, accessories pack. So you, you need a you need to purchase yourself a Fireson body as this is only the head and accessories pack that you get with this um, kit. I was actually pretty, I actually bought this off Toys Wonderland and it arrived in my door from purchase from Hong Kong to show within three days of purchase, which is extremely good. Also on the same day, I received the M35 Fireson body, which I purchased off eBay. So it all came together pretty, pretty good. So what we'll do now is we will take the accessory or we'll go through the accessories that um th this kit actually comes with. So here are all the bits and pieces that this kit comes with and we'll go through them one by one. Start off with the stand. It's got the cradle stand there. Nice oval base plate, like a great Look to it with the Batman logo on it. it. Says Bane on there. Very simple but nice. Just clip that in, and then um, there's your base. Now the next thing we'll look at is you got this little picture. It also comes with this little picture of Harvey Dent. What else we got? We'll go through the the hands. So you get a bunch of hands, which are pretty nicely detailed, pretty standard. You get the fists. So you get a whole bunch of them. You also get this um, broken Batman mask. It's got really good detail on it. It's actually got like watermarks on it. I'll just try and get into focus so you can see. You can see there, see the watermarks? That's nicely done. Nice piece. You get his boots. Also very nicely done. Looks like they've got a little bit of weathering on there. And they pop on fairly easy to the fire some body. And you get a little bag full of stuff. We'll, put, we'll take that, we'll take the stuff out now and have a look. So you get um, what are we gonna start off with? We'll start off with his black shirt. Well, top, sorry, black top. Uh, you get the pants. I like these pants, they're really nice. Nice detail in them. Got the belt there. A bit baggy, so they will fit on pretty easy. You get his vest. Pretty, pretty cool. It's nicely done. Here's the inside of it. It's pretty, nicely done. And you get those wrist gauntlets and a waist belt. Just take them out. Yeah, nice leather feel to them. It just sort of goes together like that underneath his vest. And they're the wrist gauntlets, I think they're called. You get two of them. I think these are spare buttons. You also get spare buttons in case you break any. And then you get his jacket, which is nicely done. It's got a nice feel to it. Inside's nicely done. That leather look to it. And then 
you get the head sculpt, which is pretty much the same as the Hot Toys one. It's pretty similar. I'll just turn him around so you can get a good look at it. It's really nicely done. It's even got the veins popping out the side of his head. The detail in the mask. It's pretty cool. So what I'll do now is I will assemble Bane off camera and then we'll take a closer look at him. So there he's there and he's an impressive piece. When he's all put together he really looks menacing. As he's spinning around we'll just go through some of the bits that were a bit difficult to put together. One of them was that waist belt. You've got those straps you've got to try and feed them through. As he's spinning around you'll, you'll just see it's, it's just really... As you spin around, see those straps? you just got to pop them in and they sort of move around a lot and then they come loose. Now, I've actually noticed I've put that back bit on upside down, so I'll have to change it around, but overall he's an impressive figure. You see him just standing there. The actual vest was quite easy to put on too. As he's spinning around on the back, it's got these clips those bits there just pop off and then it just sort of slides on and then you just pop it back in. Clip those clips back in and it just sits on like that. So it's very easy to put together. The jacket, I haven't tried yet. Um, it might be a little bit difficult because of the fearsome body. It's very grippy. But I'm sure that'll go on quite well. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with this 1.6 scale. Now... Some of the things that, some of the negatives for me, the only things that I can think of is that there is no scar on his back, like in the movie, and that's because obviously you're using a Fison M35 body. That waist belt that I was, I mentioned, that was a little bit difficult to put together, and those wrist gauntlets because the Fison body is so grippy just trying to slide that onto his arm was a little bit difficult so you've got to be careful that you don't don't break that and the only other thing I can think of is because you're using a Fison body it's not going to be movie accurate and that's about it now for the positives like I said this really looks menacing and yes it's not a movie accurate body but it's basically a kit, or a custom kit that you're putting together. Yes, it's meant to be a copy of the Hot Toys, but because the body is bigger, it's, in my opinion, it's a custom build. And I'm okay with that because Bane, in the comics cartoon, he was a big menacing guy. So even though this is not accurate to Tom Hardy's body, I'm okay with that. The other, the other positive is the Daft Toys kit, I feel, was well made. All the bits and pieces were nicely put together. And the best part about this kit also is that it's not going to break the bank. If you're trying to buy Hot Toys Bane, they are pretty expensive now. Whereas this kit is probably a quarter of the price, so... For me, that's a win. So is this a must-buy? Well, like I said before, it's cheaper than the Hot to Toys version, and if you're after a Bane to go along with your DX12 or you just want Bane in your collection, then I think you need to go for this kit. It's awesome. So there you have it. That's my review on the Duff Toys Bane. If you have any questions regarding this 1.6 scale kit, hit me up in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, that wraps up this review. I will see you guys next time on the channel. Catch you later and take care.